James McAvoy and together? Together? Is it good? Is it bad? Should you go? Should you not? Find out today. Hi. How you doing today, Movie Nation? It's just Jesse. Hope you're having a good day. And today, yes, guys, together, I am located in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. Today, we are going to go on AMC Streets of Woodfield 24 at 715 in regular. That's right, guys. Just regular today. If you don't know who I am, hello. Hi. My name is Jess. My YouTube channel, it's just Jess. Here we do movie reviews, giving you the biggest and best reviews of the movies releasing at the time. So please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video stick around towards the end because we are going to review we're gonna leave to the theaters together together Okay, Movie Nation, so let's talk about the movie. Together 2021 version, it stars James McAvoy and Sharon Horgan, and their character names they play in the movie is called He and She, yeah. Which is crazy because during the end of the movie, I looked at the credits roll and it says He and She. There's only three characters in this whole movie. They talk about other people, but you don't see them. It's mostly James McAvoy, Sharon Horgan, and the child that they play. So what is Together? So unfortunately, the whole world has been hit by COVID. So this is a story about a couple who is not married, by the way, who is not married because that is very key details in the further part of the story lives in the UK with starting I think it was March 22nd of lockdown and then takes him through a full year so what do you mean by a full year it goes from the scenes and different dates because every time the scene cuts or it's a different angle it goes from March April May December all the way to March of this year 2021 and it's very awesome because it captures the whole essence of like the whole year condensed into a movie did you know that from INBD I think it was the movie was shot in 10 days but that was so awesome because seeing the tales of the whole coronavirus from the UK from these actors from this couple portrayed in this one little tiny home is very breathtaking experience because I never saw anything like this in my whole life in cinema like I probably did but not to the depth of this and I just want to say I love James McAvoy's accent as UK he's like I don't know if he, he sounds British he's like we need to get to the courts like I can't pronounce that accent but I really love that voice coming out from him James McAvoy is also you guys know from the X-Men Professor X he also did the video game with AZ Ridley 12 minutes on Xbox exclusively the ups downs sad fights happy moments isolation of the whole year of coronavirus going into this movie I had low expectations I didn't know nothing about it I just knew it was romance because I love romance movies and I just look at the cover I'm like okay well this has to be like a romance movie when I picked out my ticket at AMC theaters it said comedy so I'm like great this is gonna be awesome so I went in this movie knew nothing about it but however it shattered those expectations and reversed them to a new direction which I'm very glad that it did because it takes it to new levels that I never knew that it would and that I actually would like to beginning of the movie it's slow and kind of boring start like I saw like one person like this girl left the movie theater my right and it was just one person but still I was like oh no like yes it's funny in the beginning to me I was just like uh this is I, I didn't know what to think of it but I was like you know what just the first scene is like whatever and then I'm really glad that I stayed because the movie just keeps piling up progressing more emotional depth to these characters as well as talking about COVID in the UK and unfortunately every single time it breaks into scenes it does tell us how many UK people eventually died from COVID because it says UK deaths from coronavirus and it gives us a number so now I know it's a new scene it's a new segment that they're talking like something's going on like a new problem or a happy moment or a sad moment and every time it's broken into scenes it gives us the date so for example the beginning of the movie I think starts with March 22nd or 23rd but right like a day before lockdown and then I saw April May December of 2020 and then it goes back to March of 2021 every single scene that there's a comedy or happy there's an equal and more heartbreaking scene we see these characters and like the beginning of the movie they're not really married but they're together but they're still having their fights their argument they're like a regular couple they're they were talking about getting a divorce or not being together but now they have to live together each other with lockdown every time they make jokes or they talk about them and their couple and how they are they talk to us in the camera like this you know how in movies sometimes they look to the side and they don't acknowledge the camera at all this movie does it differently because it feels like we're there and these are long drawn out cuts now i don't want to say drawn out like they take too long but imagine the camera was placed right there or sometimes they move it a little bit like this sometimes they move it a little bit or sometimes they just flow in mid-air and it's every time like they make jokes or they're crying or they're laughing or something's going on dramatically dialogue in the movie they talk to us like we're there at the dinner table where they're as a friend or it's like they're talking to a therapist or a psychiatrist sometimes they don't look at the camera sometimes it's just them too but they acknowledge that the camera's there they trust me they know like they have scenes where they just the guy James McAvoy he and she they just talk to the camera alone when the other person's like upstairs or doing something else like they talk to the camera there's barely any music playing yes the sounds are incredible and they add more realism to the movie because we hear raindrops or like the air or the leaves or something drops or their footsteps but the movie's really centered dramatically the dialogue on 
the facial expressions, the body movement of these two characters explaining what they're going through, what they're thinking, what they think of each other and themselves throughout this whole relationship. In the future, the past, the people around them times someone's in the shot with two people. Imagine like this. So the movie focuses on this if this was talking as a person and the other person is like doing groceries in the background. So let and then when the girl talks and the guy's still doing groceries, the movie quickly glimpses the depth of field to the background and blurs out the front. A lot of YouTubers do it. I personally don't know how to do it yet. I will try to do it for you guys. But imagine like there's a person right here talking and then I'm talking in the back doing some grocery stuff. But when this person is talking, the camera blurs out the whole background. Less, yes, you can see what's going on, but they're in full focus. And then it switches in the background. And sometimes like James McAvoy scene, which is the marriage scene, which is very bizarre because that was like the climax of the story. He just stands there for like two minutes, just like doing poses. He's looking at her. You can clearly tell that he was looking at her because he like you can see his eyes, but the focus is on the girl. And I just loved how the, the camera itself was like this, the cuts that it takes, the foreground, the background, the depth of field, how close up it gets to the character. Like when something emotional is happening, like right now, like she's crying or he's happy, like it gets really up in their faces and the cuts are switched like to show like, cause there's no action in this movie. The movie is mostly more dramatic dialogue. The music only happens towards the end of the movie. I thought that was bizarre because the movie, it was like a bizarre choice and a new tour storytelling a cinematography that I've absolutely never seen. Like blurring the background or the focus on the characters when the background's still in motion and you know what they're doing or like when the camera gets closer and closer to the center of it or sometimes it's like a documentary but it's really not and I just really found that amusing because in the beginning I was like what kind of movie is this but then I grew to appreciate it like yes there's no action but we, do we really need action in every movie like I want to go see the trailers after I saw the movie in the trailers I, I don't know the trailers just did it different because I, I just didn't hear the music I didn't hear like there's music in the trailer but when you see the movie like I don't know like there is some music for some scenes but the music is very few and far between but it's utilized to the best of the abilities of the movie when something big is happening. This is probably not for everyone. And it takes them through a full year of lockdown. So their fights, what they're going, they talk about sex, they talk about Christmas, they talk about their future plans when they're cooking, asparagus, mushrooms. Like these are all key elements and I don't want to spoil like the story plots because then you won't like like the movie as much as you would. The less you know about this movie, the more you will grew to appreciate it. But these are long. This is more of a like, I don't want to say if you like Downtown Abbey, but like that's the one that comes to mind. Like just more methodical, dramatic dialogue sequences based on true life with a real couple probably in UK they do have a son however it's weird because they don't utilize him a lot he's in some scenes but he's only used like sparingly but then as the movie progresses he does actually add a bit of a texture or flavor to the feel of the movie when there's a sad scene or a happy scene or like when he hugs one parent one parent and not the other parent this is a couple who is not married but has a kid and so now they have to navigate how they want to progress with their life and what they're doing and it's also pretty cool because they have different values on like COVID vaccine which reflects real life some people don't want to get it some people are in the first line to get it maybe the film was trying to show us the kid was isolated because during that we were all isolated and maybe the film was trying to show the kid in the background to show him that he was isolated but it feels like i'm reaching or grasping i don't know sometimes this movie can be a little bit hard to follow like yes these actors are great and they're phenomenal for doing this type of movie because it really focuses on them and they're really acting chops like nothing else is lifting them up it's just them in the house with the camera their dialogue and that's it there's barely any music the use of sound is very creative but sometimes my mind would wander like even me loving romance movies any type of romance movies like my mind would wander but however guys to be honest with you together 2021 i want to say this is a different type of good movie like this movie is not for everyone to someone all love this is real life believable movie about a couple who is not married that lives in uk and has a son and has to navigate this whole year of coronavirus inside a lockdown and how that implicates their relationship themselves their mind their actions and their future endeavors to what they're going to do with the relationship and with the son and with each other and honestly guys i really grew to appreciate together you don't really see a lot of this storytelling and i don't know i hated it in the beginning but i'm really glad i got through it and honestly guys that's gonna be everything for me today i hope you have a great day and let me know if you ever need anything if you haven't already please hit that notification bell so you never miss a video maybe stick around subscribing because i'll do a video once a week until i make to my full-time career all right guys we'll see you next week take care <laughs>